It is go time. My name is Todd Grisham. And next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with Here comes the miracle man himself, Daniel Jacobs, fighting out of New York, New York. He is one of the most talented fighters in this division. Let's see what he's got for us in this one. The Marvel, Sergio Martinez. This future Hall of Famer who fights out of Buenos Aires, Argentina, has traveled the world over to ply his trade. You can hardly hear yourself speak. The fans are going mad for this. The fighters are ready to go. Let's hear the official introductions. We turn it over to the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Brooklyn, New York, introducing an acclaimed two-time middleweight champion of the world known as the Miracle Man, introducing Daniel Jacobs. Hiding out of the blue corner from Buenos Aires, Argentina, here is a unified and sensational middleweight champion of the world, introducing Sergio Maravilla Martinez. What a great venue, and what a great matchup. Cannot wait for this one. Todd, you know when you've got two fighters there that really believe they're going to win, really want to get it on? This is when it gets stupid. Good luck. Thanks for this battle between these two athletes. Shot with the left. Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. You have certain fighters that are born for this, that are made for the big crowd. And look in that corner right there, that is that fighter right there. They have elevated, lifted, it's like they're not touching the ground. This is what they were born for. That's a scoring left hand. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice exchange here from both men. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got. Oh my goodness. I admire these guys. And there's an uppercut. A big uppercut. And his knees buckled that time. with that jab. Both men step back for just a moment. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Punch, counter punch. Well, there was no doubt. For round two. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. A counter fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. Many of the people in the division hit like them. Oh, that punch. Oh, and they just got their bell rung. 
Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Through the hook, didn't land. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. It's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. There's the bell for round three. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. This fighter has not shown us much defense at all. Nice counter shot. And these middleweight type of fights, Johnny, you're obviously not going to... This is not the way he wanted this fight to start. Let's see if he can get out of trouble. He's trying to fight his way back into this. I don't know what his game plan is or if he's even got one. A true champion knows how to get out of trouble after they got into trouble, and that's what he's doing here. Right punch. figure out the combination to this sink. And he misses with that jab. Might want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. He blocks that jab. Waiting for this fighter to show some defensive ability. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Good counter punching. As bad as boxing judging can be. Here we go to the fourth round. After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. He misses with that jab. Punch. Big shot. Mara Vila in some trouble here. Sergio Martinez is down on the canvas. Is he going to be able to make it back up?
they'll make it up, and this fight continues. And he fails to score with that left hook. Final 10 seconds here, and this has not been his round for sure. So it's plan B time after being knocked out. Here we go in round five. Who's going to land the first big shot? He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bound because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through it? Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? <laughs> he blocks the hook. figure out the combination to this safe. Still swinging with nothing left. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. And finally, Jacobs crumbles to the canvas. Back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. And he misses with the left uppercut. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Big of a factor that. Here we go in the sixth round. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out to crash as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's gonna hustle now. He's gonna, he's gonna bluff him. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. That left shot lands. One punch could change everything in this battle. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. A perfect counter shot. Nice exchange here from both men. Counterpunching for both these athletes. That punch landed. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Pretty 
dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next one. Here comes round seven. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Left counter punch will score. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Nice counter. Both men step back for just a moment. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Good counter punch. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? with that jab. Oh boy, the Miracle Man now in... This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match... Back at it again here in round eight. Now there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. No stamina, no injury, but still throwing punches. And he just missed with that left jab. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Come on, give these guys a chance. They're just trying to figure out how they're going to deal with it. Yes, they need to be offensive and defensive. It's just trying to figure out which puzzle fits which. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. A world championship fight we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. Missed him with that uppercut. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who had... There's the bell start round nine. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Lands with the right counter. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Great counter right hand there. Good 
and one. That punch lands. Sergio Martinez is rocked. Setting at this moment the entire fight, he's got so he's gonna take a knee here and get the mandatory eight count. Absolutely gassed out, didn't know what to do, and hurt on top of that. Nice punch. Punch. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round. We've made it to round ten. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? What is this fighter doing? There's nothing behind these punches. Good counter punching from both these fighters. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Nice exchange here from both men. The perfect counter lands. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out? Mara Vila in some trouble here. Mara Vila is flat on his back. championship round. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. He just misses with that jab. Score again with the left hand. Left counter scores. He blocks the uppercut. Some 
Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard, it's an uphill battle. Counter punch. Can't find a home for that jab. Oh, and that one really got Martinez good. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Talk about a one sided three minutes. We just saw it. Dominance. The bell for round 12. This fight has been very one sided. What are we going to have in this round? Todd, my motto is if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. <laughs> that left lands. in those punches. Sergio Martinez is dazed. The Argentine, Martinez, is down. back up on their feet but i'm not sure why that is a show of character when you're put down your eagles hurt your chin's hurt your body's hurting and you've got to get up suck it up and think right i'm back in the game again it's so so hard for fighters when you're a power puncher you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw it's about how many you land and how hard they are. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Good counter right hand again. They have no respect for each other's punching power. Final 10 seconds here, and this has not been his round for sure. Angel Martinez is dazed. as we get a unanimous decision there. They've done it before, now they're doing it again, and look what's happened, a unanimous decision. What a way, what tactics, what a game plan, what a result. 